Hi guys, Robbery46 here and welcome yourselves back to Ride. You guys have been voting and it is time to battle the 2015 Yamaha R6 against the 2014 R6. You guys have voted and that's what we're doing this time. So let's get on with it. The 2014 R6 is on the left and the 2015 R6 is on the right. It's going to be interesting to see... Um, what the times are like with these two because they are very similar. I know that the 2015 model has a better top speed but handling wise according to the game the uh, 2014 model is a bit better handling wise. Um, so yeah we'll definitely be interested to see which is better. I would imagine that the uh, 2015 model will, will get it due to the uh, the better top end, uh, especially down the straight we're coming up to, will definitely help out there and the uh, start finish straight as well. So guys, as always, thank you so much for um, voting on this and uh, don't forget to start voting on this video for uh, which two bikes you want me to use next Wednesday and uh, the, the vote with the most likes in the comment section, I will do. So any two bikes you like, as long as I haven't already used them. Um, and yeah, get liking if you see what's like what someone's put, then uh, give it a thumbs up and then uh, we'll go from there. So the sound of both the bikes are pretty much identical. Uh, we're on the sound of the 2014 at the moment, but we are going to turn over to the 2015 model. Uh, it ain't, yeah, it's, it's basically exactly the same. Um, I don't think Milestone even bothers with uh, trying to do different engine notes and that for the same sort of bike, but uh, yeah. They've had some uh, really interesting one so far. Um, I wasn't expecting the new R1 to be as quick as the BMW HP4. Um, so it'd be good to see where these two are in relation to the other bikes that we've done. I know that all the other bikes have been super bikes and these are super sports. So I'm not expecting them to be like really close in time, but it'd be inter interesting to see how well, what the time difference is, um, and how close or far away they actually are. And as always, I haven't done any upgrades apart from slick tyres, um, taking the wing mirrors off and the uh, licence plate holder and the uh, rear indicators, and put it on premium fuel, and that's it. Not fuel, oil. That's the stuff. So one more lap to go, and yes guys, there is an update that is available for MotoGP 15 now, and uh, it does fix the data corruption bug, however, what it does do now is crash after every session in career mode, so uh, whether you do practice into qualifying, it will crash when you finish practice and it's loading qualifying, if you're done qualifying into the race, it will crash once you've done qualifying and into the race. But uh, it hasn't crashed for me after the race yet. Um, well, I don't really bother with practice. Uh, I just do qualifying and the race. So, uh, yeah, annoying. It's good that they fixed data corruption, but it's annoying that it's still broken and I'm still buggy. I've probably got more annoying bugs now. And, uh, yeah, I hope that they will fix that but who knows it is milestone oh there goes the uh, 2040 model down the road just clip the uh, grass on the outside We're coming to a close now in the final corner And away we go, that is 2015 R6 done. 
and the 2014 R6 is done. So let's look at the lap times. First up we'll look at the 2014 version and this did a 131.532 and the 2015 R6 done a 130.966. I was quite close between the two but um, let's head on over to the leaderboard and see where things stand at the moment. Obviously the R <coughs> 2015 R1 is still leading with the HP4. Uh, 2014 R1 is second. The Desmodici double R is third. 2015 R6 is fourth so 130.966 so about two and three quarters seconds slower than uh, a Desmodici which isn't a lot slower um, to be honest I was expecting it to be quite a bit slower but no it's pretty quick time and obviously the 2014 R6 in fifth with a 131.5 so guys that's it don't forget to comment in the video and vote for which two bikes you want me to use next week and uh, yeah, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to leave this video a like, subscribe to my channel, and I shall see you guys in the next video. See you!